Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing a few new NARS releases for you guys. The Exposed Cheek Palette as well as a couple of the Explicit Color Lip Duos. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and my demos and also comparisons, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm really fast housekeeping. So I applied to be a part of Sephora Squad. Basically, it's a year-long contract with Sephora as an influencer. And I mean, it's definitely a bit of a long shot for me because everybody and their mother and all of these great influencers have applied. But it wouldn't hurt if I tried, right? So if you guys like my channel and like my content and want to help me out with this opportunity, you can leave a testimony. I will put the link in the description box. It's really fast. All you have to do is leave your email address and then you write like what you like about me what you like about my content I mean if you don't like me you don't have to leave me one that's completely fine um, honestly don't feel obligated to it just every testimony helps me out and then after you leave one you'll get emailed a little Instagram story that you can post on your Instagram to kind of spread the word not only just for the Sephora opportunity but also just like to help get my name out there to help grow my channel to help grow our family so as always I appreciate your guys support so much whether or not you left me one no big deal just having you here watching me is enough I promise all right back to the important stuff so I'm gonna start off with reviewing the exposed cheek palette so the major fact about this guy it is limited edition $59 it contains six shades five blushes one highlighter available on the NARS website right now as well as Ulta described as a palette of six universally flattering shades encapsulated in a breakthrough NARS formula that delivers the purest pigments for unrivaled color all right so this is the packaging of this guy it has this beautiful watercolored uh, I don't know whatever NARS is doing with their packaging it's amazing then you open it up with their heart open packaging and then you're going to reveal the five blush shades and one highlighter shade with the beautiful kind of watercolor imprint on these shades and then here are the swatches as well so on my channel i don't really talk about names because they all confuse me they all brands do something i we just don't talk names i just kind of point to them <laughs> um, but you have the beautiful highlighter first and then you have two very neutral toned blushes you have a really pretty peachy corally pop of color blush and then you have two beautiful kind of pinky almost berry shade blushes now really fast within the palette itself i don't think that any shade is too similar to each other i think this is a really light beautiful peachy neutral brown shade and this one is much more pigmented and looking at it these two also look very similar but they have very different pigmentation in them this is pretty light pigmentation and this gets that really good punch of color on your skin now the reason why i purchased this besides the fact that it looked pretty was because it reminded me and awful lot of the hot tris palette that came out for the holiday season now i did do a review on this and i will link it down below i liked it in my review for sure but i'm not gonna lie the longer i had it the less i liked it like i still like it i use them all the time i really like the finish of these blushes but i think the longer i used it the more i realized you really have to build these blushes up they really aren't that pigmented and i wanted to see if these would also be the same formula so online i thought these two palettes also looked very similar color wise I will say after swatching them I don't think they're similar enough to not purchase them I think they are almost two different vibes two different color stories but I did swatch them side by side for you so you can see which colors are are similar for the most part I would say that they are pretty different so I'm just gonna forward you to the swatching clip that I did for you guys okay so here are the swatches between the exposed and the tryst so exposed is on top tryst is on bottom exposed I ordered from left to right tryst I ordered by based on similar colors so the highlights are not similar at all in the exposed you have this really light almost sheer highlighter the highlighters in the Trist are more pigmented, more shiny. I kind of liked this highlight better. <laughs> there is a peachy color in the Trist palette that is similar to the pinky peachy color in the Exposed. I would say these two are very similar. The Exposed is slightly more pink. And then I would say the deepest color in the Exposed palette is most similar to the deepest color in the Exposed palette. So there are two shades that are similar and on the cheek, but for the most part, I would say it's a whole different vibe. This is much more neutral and wearable 
if you ask me. All in all, there are a couple shades that may be similar, but I would say the overall vibe of the palette's different. This is much more neutral. This one's a little bit more brighter. I noticed the colors in these palettes be a tad bit more pigmented as we get into this part. I don't know, I just find the exposed to be a little bit more wearable, so. If you have the Trist, I would definitely say go ahead and get the exposed if you really liked the formula because you are getting a new variation of colors that are really nice. Okay, so now we can talk about the formula now that I got that comparison out of the way. So the brush you use to apply these is vital. If you use a really soft haired brush, you're going to have problems building up that color. It's going to take a little bit of extra work. So I noticed specifically the brushes from the Morphe Goldline, which is my favorite series from them. They don't pick up the pigment well. They're almost too soft. You have to use a more compact brush. And I'm not saying use something with really hard hairs, but I have this Trish McAvoy number 18 blending brush. Bristles are much more compact, which makes it easier to get the color and you get more pigmentation. So this brush worked a lot better than the Morphe brushes. Okay, me. so editors note here, something that I also kind of wanted to clarify as far as the brushes you should use. You'll notice the Morphe, their length and hair was longer, whereas the Trish McAvoy, it was a shorter, more compact hair length. So that shorter, compact hair length picks up the pigment better than the longer, more loosely packed brushes. So hopefully that helps if you're having problems building up the color in this palette. So I think that's kind of the main fault within this palette. It's really user error. You have to make sure you're using the right brush because these colors, they don't give you any fallout. Like it's just a weird silky formula, which I like, but honestly for a blush, I just find that with blushes that have a more powdery formula, I feel like I have a little bit more control with the amount of pigment I put on the cheek. Whereas this, I'm like just sitting here circling, trying to build it up. So I'm gonna tell you how I applied this palette. I kind of applied it differently than I normally would have so I could show you every shade on my face. So I started off with this color right here and I just blended that almost as a bronzer because this is a deep neutral almost brown shade, a rosy brown. So it definitely pulls a bit more pink as a bronzer which isn't ideally what I would do but just to show you how it looked I did apply it as a bronzer and it doesn't look bad. It really doesn't but you can notice that slight rosy undertone to it but it was really pretty, very subtle. You can definitely build this color up. I like it. And then I went in with this neutral terracotta color and I put that on just one side of my cheek. Oh my gosh, a really gorgeous everyday blush. This is one that I did have trouble kind of building up. So if you're very, very fair and you're afraid of blush, you're going to love this shade. Also, if you use the correct brush, this is a beautiful everyday shade. And then I used this color right here, which is almost like a peachy shade. I was sad about this color because I feel like it didn't have enough pigmentation for my preference. Of course, you can build it up, but I find that kind of annoying to be honest. And then you have these two shades down. So I started off with this color right here, which is kind of like a watermelony color. Love this. This is a beautiful everyday wearable bright pop of color on your cheek. And then this is a shade right here that's going to flatter deep skin tones the best. This is significantly more pigmented than the shade next to it and it really does add that pop that's really what kind of added the color to my face and I could use any brush and that's going to show up just because naturally it's more pigmented and then of course you do have this highlighter right here which I find to be really universal because it's sheer but it's glowy so it's going to look good on a lot of different skin tones and it's a subtle glow it's not you know the most blinding highlight in the world but I really really do like it and it really complements the blush as well those two together the formulas they look beautiful together you don't look too obnoxiously glowy it's not emphasizing your texture but you look healthy so overall, the finish is you're going to get a really satiny, glowy cheek, but it's not super glowy. It honestly is the perfect amount of satin. I enjoy this finish very much. I think it adds a youthful glow to your face without being so obnoxious. So when you use the two formulas together, beautiful, glowy cheek, I really like that. So overall, I would probably rate the blush palette a seven and a half out of 10. As I've grown more familiar with this formula, it's just not my favorite. I just prefer a little bit more powdery, more pigment 
limited blush but that's just me if you are scared of blushes and you're not an expert at applying blush and you don't like the look of having too much honestly this is a great formula for you I think you'll like it as well if you like a satiny more glowy blush this also is a really good formula for you just be aware that you might have to build it up and to play around with the different blush brushes that you have to see what works best with this palette I like it I like the colors of this more than I like the hot tris. so if I was going to pick between the two I would definitely go with the exposed because I find the shades in here to have a little bit more variation than in the hot tryst because you have neutral tones up here you have a peachy color here and you have pinks to play with as well the packaging is gorgeous I will continue to use it but there still are formulas that I personally just prefer but you might like that formula all right so let's move on to the explicit color lip duos that are in this exposed collection so they're gonna come in a cute watercolor box like this and in it you're going to get two little mini lip products you're gonna get a velvet matte lip pencil and then a glossy lip tint oh I almost forgot to mention they are both limited edition and they are $22 there are three available shades the two that I picked up were Sex Machine and Intriguing. They also have Dragon Girl, which is a vivid siren red as it is described. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the swatches really fast. As you can see, Sex Machine is more of a pinky mauve, whereas Intriguing is more of a rose pink. I would have liked them to have add more of a peachy color just because it would go with my eyes better. The colors they went with are very cool tones. So I'm going to show you my application of the first set of colors, Sex Machine. So you start off with the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil, and I really Really like this it's very soft on the lips it's not your typical lip pencil it's very very thin but it's very quick to apply the color what I like about this formula is that it's not super drying but it is still matte and then I went in of course with the lip tint which is like a lip gloss very sheer very comfortable on the lips and then let's take a look at intriguing which is more of that warmer rosy shade so of course I started off with the lip pencil just put that all over my lips very quick I really like it quite precise as well for how thick it is and then I went in with the lip tint prior to purchasing these I hadn't tried in either of these formulas before and I have to say I really do like the velvet matte lip pencils they're very smooth they work almost as a moisturizing lipstick that's matte so you don't even have to put the lip tints on top you can just use these if you want a matte look and then if you want something a little bit more glossy go with the lip tints personally I think I prefer a lip gloss formula rather than this but I think for $22 this is a pretty good duo you can get a glossy or a matte look good formula with the lip tint on top I don't find these to be the most long wearing lip however it's very very easy to reapply I will blindly just reapply this for a little extra color but just be aware not the most long wearing the lip tints I personally don't think I would purchase this formula especially in a full size I'd be more happy getting a gloss but I mean it's a nice addition and I was very happy to try the formula I don't find these to be unnecessary they aren't the most unique colors but if you're a NARS fan and you want just these cute little travel lip colors I think you will really enjoy these I don't really have anything bad to say other than they're not really that long wearing but I just feel very neutral about these they aren't that great but they aren't bad by any means it just is the type of person you are and what you need. Let's just take a look at this collection. I don't think it was my favorite thing that NARS came out with, but it was nice. I'll describe it as a good release, a good collection, but nothing that is knocking my socks off, if that makes any sense. So if you are into the formulas and you're into the colors, I would definitely say go for it. The products work fine. But if you have a lot of makeup and you're like me, I'm going to be straight up. You don't need any of this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this collection. Let me know your thoughts down below and if you picked it up. I love you guys very much. Thank you for all your support. Remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video, which is another cheek palette. I think you guys are going to love it. See you guys later. Have a good day.